Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another DIY electronics project today. In fact, the kit is right here. It's called The Bleepler, and I just love this name. Uh, it comes from a company called Low Blast. That's their logo. And I actually met these folks at KnobCon in September. Now, I will put uh, bookmarks in the timeline if you want to skip around, but real quick, I'm going to tell a quick story about them. Uh, so at KnobCon, I saw this fellow walk around. He was in like a lab coat, had like a gray beard, and started talking to him. And he's actually the dude from Low Blast, and his name was Langle Bookbinder, I believe. But anyway, uh, he's kind of the genius behind it. And what happened is he got into game programming, like 8-bit game programming. And so he wrote a game, which you can get as a free digital download, but then he also decided to actually make it as hardware. So you can actually buy it as like an NES cartridge. And that's a thing now, the retro game market is, is like back. People are loving these retro games. And so it's a really fun game to play. But he said... He, he wanted to make the game because he was into hardware. And what he really wanted to do was make little synthesizers and guitar pedals. So his second project is the Bleepler here. And he says, effectively, this is like, it's kind of like a fidget toy is kind of what he designed it to be. But he said, it's basically like you could generate video game sound effects in the palm of your hand. Now the Bleepler comes in like six or seven different colors. Um, I got the green one, uh, obviously, as you can see here, but uh, you know, a bunch of different colors. You can buy it as a DIY kit, which is the idea, but if you're not DIY savvy, but you still like it, you can also get a completed one. It costs, I think, about 10 or $15 more to get a completed one. In any case, I'm gonna build the Bleepler today and try it out. Okay, so now let's hear what it does. So we've got a knob here and we've got a button and that's pretty much it. So when we push the button, we should get a tone. And then if we turn this, we should get pitch changes. So the idea of it is he said you can make video game sounds by just kind of figuring it out. Plus it's just kind of fun to sit here and but if you kind of starts to sound like a video game soundtrack. <laughs> Just like that, fun little toy. So there you go, folks. That's how you build a bleepler. Musical instrument meets fidget toy, I guess. Super fun. Easy little kit. One of the easier kits I've built. And uh, if you are interested in picking one up for yourself, I have Low Blast website up over here. I'll put that down below in the description so you know where to find one and check them out. Also, when I talked to Langle, he did say that there's more projects in the pipeline. So I don't know what's coming next, but uh, keep an eye on Low Blast. They seem like a really cool company and the Bleepler is just a heck of a lot of fun. Now to close this video out, I'm going to actually try to make something along the lines of a song with the Bleepler. Of course, it's not super easy to hit pitch because you're just kind of trying to find where a note is. And then if you're trying to repeat that note, you just kind of got to go by ear and get close. So I'm not sure how this is going to sound, but it's half the fun of it. Anyway, that's the Bleepler.